Now in this um, video, we are going to um, investigate uh, Windows user accounts. We are going to look at uh, security identifiers in Windows, or what we call the SIDs. And uh, we're going to also look at uh, privileges. Okay, so um, we're going to log into our Windows VM for this. And uh, this is a Windows VM. And uh, let's log in. I'm logging in as uh, the user user, right? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up a... Uh, Windows, um, sorry. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fire up a Windows command cmd, right? A Windows command prompt. Okay, so I'm logging as a user, um, called user, but to the operating system. Okay, uh, the operating system recognizes this user by its uh, security ID, what we call the SID. Okay, and how we're going to see um, the SID on the system. Uh, is simply um, by typing in this command who am I and we'll do a slash user sorry user right so this is the command to run who am I slash user so you can see that uh, I'm currently logging as this user windows uh, windev204 eval backslash user right so this is the user that I'm logging as and, but to the operating system alright um, I'm recognized by this string of numbers here so every user on the Windows system is going to have a unique uh, SID. This is what we call a security identifier. And uh, it is this number that uh, identifies the user on the Windows operating system. Now, um, before I move on, I also like to uh, share with you um, another tool called Windows PowerShell. P-O-W-E-R-S-H-E-L-L. -L, right, and uh, this PowerShell is a scripting language all right i mean you can script uh, commands on inside powershell and run it and uh, what i want to share with you is that whatever you can run in the windows command prompt you can also uh, run in the uh, uh, powershell so things like who am i slash user it's going to work here as well all right so i'm going to use um, uh, powershell to continue the this part of the lab okay this part of the demo uh, and uh, we have seen um, this identifier that identifies the user and uh, every user actually belongs to some groups in the system and again um, groups uh, for example uh, whether this user belongs to for example the administrator groups or those uh, these groups are also identified on the system using a security identifier so um, how do I tell for example um, which uh, security group that this user belongs to uh, it's actually by this command who am I again but this time um, we do slash groups right so as you can see I belong to I mean this user belongs to quite a number of groups uh, and the more interesting one will be everyone right which is uh, S110 right and uh, administrator so this user is actually a uh, administrator on the system and uh, uh, what else is interesting uh, we have uh, sorry this this is the administrator uh, SID okay and uh, we have the users right user so this user belongs to this user belongs to the users group and uh, it also belongs to uh, because I'm logged in it also belongs to uh, authenticated user group All right so um, so um, this is the command for you to see uh, which groups uh, that this user actually belongs to now let's talk about privilege next. So again, um, the who am I command, right, is able to tell um, what privileges this uh, user currently have. And for that, uh, you actually need to do a slash priv for privileges. And you can see that um, the user currently has all these um, privileges, including, uh, as you can see, shutting down the system. So uh, um, here you see that uh, the user actually has this privilege, but it is disabled. Right, um, the disabled means that the user is still able to shut down the system. Uh, it's just that it's currently not being used uh, at this point in time. Okay, so if the user does not have the um, privilege to shut down the system, you will not see this privilege uh, being listed at all. Now uh, we are going to create a um, test user on the system, and uh, to do that, we can go to um, the control panel right here. Um, control panel. Okay, this is it. 
and uh, we're going to create a test user. We're going to look for uh, users and account. Uh, this one, user accounts, right? And um, we're going to click on user accounts, right? And uh, you can uh, manage your account or manage another account, right? So let's choose uh, manage another account. Right, and from this interface, you can see that you can actually add a new user in a PC setting. So this is what we're gonna do. All right, so we can add uh, a user in the um, to this PC by clicking on this. Add someone else to this PC. All right. Let's give it a while. Uh, it's actually trying to connect to the internet, but uh, I'm currently not connected. Okay, so um, it's going to ask you for a username and uh, let's just say, uh, let's create a user, um, let's just call it a uh, test user or just a test, right? User, right? And uh, we're going to give you a password, okay? So this is up to you, right? And then you can add some uh, security questions in case I forget the password. What is my first pet's name, uh, my first pet is Garfield, what uh, is my city that I'm born in, I'm actually born in the city of, I don't know, Singapore, and uh, what's your, uh, wow, no, I don't know, let's just give it, a, what is my childhood nickname, I don't know, let's just call it Nick. Right, and uh, this is um, the way to set a uh, set up a test user basic settings, and there you have it. This is the test user that you have created. Uh, so you can change the account type. Right, so you can see um, you can actually create. Uh, you have created it as a standard user, but you can actually change it to the administrator. We're gonna keep it as the standard user for now. Right.